Evenings on Elk returns to downtown Elizabeth and this Friday night with food trucks, good times, plenty of music and art, and a tiny art throwdown. And here with a preview is Cher Cornette. How you doing, Cher? I'm good. How are you doing? Are you excited for uh, for Evenings on Elk to get going? Yes, I am, and I'm really excited that this is the first time we're going to be doing Tiny Art Throwdown down in Elizabethton, so it's a new venue for us. Right. Well, tell us about Tiny Art Throwdown. Okay, well, Tiny Art Throwdown is something that we came up with with Create Appalachia years ago here mm -hmm. in Johnson City that we do at our summer festival. But um, it's basically taking all those ugly little areas in town like pipes and holes in walls and cracks in sidewalks and basically arting them up, oh. doing something really creative with them and trying to transform those kind of unsightly spaces. We kind of got some pictures going up right there. Uh -huh. That looks interesting right there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And look at that, making a little robot looking thing. Uh -huh. there. Yeah. And just taking e common everyday items that we normally just kind of just don't even think about and, and turning them into something beautiful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's a lot of fun. It's kind of like a little problem solving thing. <laughs> and, and we've got, you know, kids from 12 all the way up. Um, we've got several children participating this year. So. And this Evenings on Elk, you know, it's such a great event because it brings the community together. Mm -hmm. And so when you get people in, they may even give you ideas for future projects that you could do as well. Oh, yeah. In fact, you know, we're, we're really starting to collaborate with Project Move and the um, Chamber of Commerce downtown. Right. So, so yeah, we've, we're already talking about next things. But I mean, when you think about it, when you when you have holes in buildings and you have pipes mm -hmm. sticking out, necessary things. But it is it, it really enhances a downtown, even if Elizabeth and Johnson City, no matter mm -hmm. where it's at, it enhances that downtown experience when you have beautiful things to look at. Well, yeah, well, it kind of forces people to kind of look a little bit more closely, even right. though we're looking at kind of uglier things. Right. We're actually looking at whole buildings. We're looking at the whole setting mm -hmm. and, and having a good time at the same time. So does so, Tiny Art Throwdown starts the same time as everything else at e on Evenings it's, on it's, Elk? Mm -hmm, it'll be from 5 until whenever, I think it ends around 9 o'clock or right. so, we'll have judging. Okay. Um, so there's prizes. We've got over $400 in prizes for nice. the artists that are participating. There's probably going to be around about 20 pieces of art hidden around town. We'll have a map. Oh, good. So people can go around, and we definitely want people to vote on people's choice. Yeah. So, we're so you can make a whole evening out of this. Just come mm -hmm. down to downtown Elizabeth and get something great to eat, stroll around. Mm -hmm. Check out the Tiny Art Throwdown and everything else. That's yes, and I promised I'd say who our sponsors are. Okay. We've got Elizabeth and Chamber, Northeast C Community Credit Union, the Coffee Company, and Riverside Tap House. And our judges are Roger Bailey from Birdhouse Studio, Joy McRae from the um, um, Chamber of Commerce, and filmmaker Kent Eden. So All right. we're very excited about having them involved. All right, Cher Cornette, thank you so much for sharing that with oh, us. Oh, thank you. It's Evening on Elk. It's Collide. It's the happening right there. The Tiny Art Throwdown is happening in downtown Elizabeth. It's going to be a great evening. It's coming up. you got to take advantage of it. And if you need more information, go to project2move.com.